What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the teep down to the thigh. This is a technique you may not have realized can actually work or you've tried it and are missing the finer details. So we're gonna focus in on the teep to the thigh today. A lot of times we think techniques need to be damaging to actually throw them. We go, okay, if I'm gonna throw the front kick, I'm gonna throw it to the stomach, I can really hurt this person. I can knock the wind out of them, drop them, that's why I'm gonna utilize it. Or if I go all the way up to the face, obviously I can stun them and snap their head back. But we forget sometimes that techniques are there to disrupt our opponent or to maintain range, create distance, and that's exactly what this lead leg is going to be utilized for. Let's go first into some of the finer details about which leg we attack and where we'll attack on the leg. If somebody was in their fighting stance, I would usually aim for the lead leg because I feel like coming to the back thigh is gonna put me really close to within range of that punch. So I would attack the left to left if the person is orthodox. When I'm coming towards them to kick, I'm trying to make sure that I'm not within punching range and I'm not targeting down by the knee. I'll probably come up slightly away from the hip flexor to the upper thigh. That would be my preferred striking area of choice. I'm up and I just tap. Now what we're trying to do on this kick is not hit and blast through because if this guy happens to step backwards or for some reason I miss what's gonna happen with my head is I'm gonna fall forward. And that really puts me into punch range. I wanna keep in mind that from here if I miss, I want to maintain range. That's perfect because a lot of times after I land my teep, I'm gonna come with something like a round kick. Maybe I'll teep them here and I'll come to a skip and a round kick. I want to maintain that range, number one for my offense, but more importantly, so that I don't put myself in a compromised position defensively. So we are attacking the upper thigh of the lead leg, most likely when we do this, Little tip back of the head, just to keep yourself extra safe. Majority of the weight is gonna be here as you start your kick. You don't wanna be leaning forward and now try to lean back and throw. This is why this kick is so much better, so much more practical for Muay Thai fighters because they are already very light on this lead leg and they can tap and place back down. Let's go to some of the follow-ups. We touched on one already, but what we can do follow-up wise, we can come from here, and skip the foot on the land to get to the left round kick. That one works very nice. We could come from here and come into the opposite leg. You could do something like front kick, and then as I drop, I come to a left hook. All of these are very practical. You just have to drill them and make sure you feel comfortable. But the main reason, in my opinion, to utilize a teep to the thigh is for disruption. We are not trying to create damage, obviously. You're gonna teep somebody in the thigh like 20 times, and you're not gonna create the same damage that you will if you blast in three or four good low kicks. We're doing this to create imbalance and to make sure that when I'm on offense, I'm landing, but now when I'm out here, I can disrupt them. And I wait for my opportunity to get back to my offense. Standing here, I wanna disrupt them. I don't wanna be a punching bag. Just throw them off, throw them off. If they're far away and they start charging forward with punches, as long as you lean your head back, you can stop them. You can stop them time and time again. It's a disruption technique, which works so well to create the sparring or an actual fight go your way. And one of the nicer elements of this kick is yes, you could attack the thigh, but you can also come up just to the hip. If you hit somebody in the hip, you're gonna find that they get shifted, and when they get shifted, they're really off balance. Same thing though, if you touch the upper thigh, it's not just touch and they're just gonna stand their ground. You're trying to hit them and create instability in their stance. So when they take that impact, when you touch them, you will get them out of the position. And then as they adjust, that's when you can go on your attack or you can catch an angle and then attack from there. The last thing I wanna to touch on today is your hand positioning as you throw your teeth. Because if you look when I kick to the stomach, distance wise, I can touch quite nicely. Getting down to the thigh, I have to be a little bit closer 
because I'm coming lower than my hip level, so I have to be a little bit tighter to actually land this. And that means, okay, occasionally we might fall within to the punching range. Hands are up. I like to come with one hand slightly down the middle. So if I do this towards you guys, I'm gonna just post this hand right up the middle so all straight punches are gonna be dealt with. This hand protects the hooks and the shoulder on the right protects hooks off the other side. My hand just places out and this disruption technique works so nice because you're safe but you're able to control the pace of the fight. This is great. Exactly what you want to be utilizing. If you have somebody who has better cardio than you, they're all over you. You're trying to go, okay, I want to attack. Ooh, but now I need a break. You stand there, you wait, and you just touch their leg, touch their leg, time and time again. It really is no fun. And just remember, if you have somebody who's a southpaw, now you attack that leg. Just hit that leg. You can play around with your foot position. Sometimes people throw the teep to the thigh with a little bit of a turn. Some people will come straight out with the ball of the foot. I've even seen some people who just turn it very slightly. So you have to play around with what works for you. There is no exact right or wrong. A lot of martial arts is you experimenting and doing what works for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give the video a like. Get subscribed if you have not already. As always guys, train hard and I will see you back here soon for another video.